show you a really easy way to batch up an old fashioned. We're also going to barrel age it without the barrel. So, first of all, we're going to take uh, a lovely bourbon or rye whiskey, whichever one you prefer. Uh, I'm going to go with bourbon today just to get that real rich flavour going on. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump that right into my favourite bar tool, the old blender. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we're going to basically add the sugar now. So, rather than stirring individual old fashions with sugar cubes, what we're going to do, we're going to add the sugar all at once. So, I'm going to add there should be about 12 old fashions in here, so I'm going to add six or seven spoons of sugar. I don't like my one too sweet, so rather than a whole cube, I'm going to use about half a cube. Cleansing really, really easy as well. Bring that baby on. As easy as that. Cleansing even better than hot water into sugar. The alcohol somehow kind of does its magic, it just drags the sugar straight in. So, into our jar, to the pickle jar. So all we've essentially got here now is sweet bourbon. Super, super, super easy. And we're gonna add the bitters. Tenders love bitters, so I've got a good wallop in there, about an ounce and a half, somewhere like that. I mean, put less if you prefer less, put more if you prefer more. Now here's the fun part, this is how we're gonna barrel age without a barrel. What we've got here is, uh, I get some wood chips. Now, if you go down to B and Q, you go down to Home Depot or uh, Canadian Tire, any of your like hardware stores that sell barbecues, you're going to find barbecue chips that people throw on for like smoking meats or getting that nice smoky effect in the barbecue. I'm going to be using cherry wood today because obviously the bourbon's already been aged in a oak barrel, but you can experiment there as much as you like. Orange bitters. Now, orange bitters can be quite hard to find and they're normally a component in an old fashioned. So uh, if you can't find them at home, if you can't find them in your local supermarket, you can, while you're infusing this, just throw in a little bit of orange peel like that, and that's gonna give you that nice bitter orange flavor that you're expecting in your old fashioned. So about half an orange in there. All right, give that a little stir. Now I would leave that for at least 24 hours, but probably better still, four to seven days. Keep it somewhere nice and warm. And then what you're going to end up with is da, 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 a bottle of old fashioned. So once you've got your bottle of old fashioned, you're ready to go really. If you have your friends around, whatever you're doing, if you're having a party, you don't need to be sitting there stirring old fashions all night, missing out on all the fun. You just pop that up there with an ice bucket. Yeah, a little bit of ice in the glass. And your mates can do this. You know, you can do it themselves so you're not missing the game if you're watching sports. You know, you just pour that over there and you've got yourself a ready made old fashioned. Give it a little stir. Don't even need to stir it because it's already been stirred. So it's going to be nice and strong as well because no dilution. So if you want a little bit, you could always add a bit of water if you want it, didn't want it quite so strong. And then I'm going to put, because we've already got orange, we've already got an orange flavour in the old fashioned itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use bartender's favourite tool, the old potato peeler. Just go around the lemon once. Easy peasy, little squeeze, get those juices in there. Sorry, the uh, oil, should I say? A little rub around the glass if you want to be fancy, but you don't have to. And then pop it in like that. It looks beautiful, it's going to taste beautiful, and above all that, it's the easiest thing in the world. Bingo! Old fashioned in a bottle, barrel aged. So, um, join me next week, I guess. We're going to be doing a, uh, we're going to be doing a zero calorie simple syrup so we can make loads of like low calorie drinks for the ladies who are watching their figures and the gents, I suppose, these days. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you a similar method to this, but we're going to be doing a uh, dirty martini batched up in the freezer, served straight from the freezer at minus 20 degrees. You won't get a cold martini in any bar in the world. All right, see you next week.